worship at the hill. The hill, hill, hill. And even if they've experienced defeat after defeat, God can intervene and turn your situation completely around. You go back to chapter 6, it helps us to understand, and I want to just pull it in for those who may have forgotten the story or even those who've never heard the story of Gideon, but we, we understand that, that, that Gideon and his family and his, uh, his area was experiencing defeat after defeat from the Amalekites and the Midianites. A nemesis of, of the children of Israel who came in time and time again and destroyed their crops and did all kinds of things unto them. But yet God heard the people's cry. Although they found uh, that they put themselves in this particular predicament by being disobedient unto God. When you look at the book of Judges, you'll find it's not only records about uh, Gideon, but you'll find Samson and other judges. And these were individuals who God would call up in the middle of a crisis that the children of Israel would go through and deliver them from that crisis. But uh, the cycle that they continue to find themselves on in is that each and every time that God would pull them out, uh, they would carry themselves right back in. But God would hear their plea, bring them out, and Gideon becomes one of these judges that was able to bring them out of one of their difficult situations. Gideon didn't even come from what we considered a good family. That even his family members were not ones that frequent the doors of the church or went and worshiped God as they should but that even worshiped idol gods and didn't have the upbringing uh, that, that you would think uh, would be needed in order to do a great work that he's about to do and what we read, we'll read about in chapter 7. But God looked among his family, looked among his tribe, and not one of the greatest tribe, but looked among all of those things that men and even uh, people would consider that you would need to take into consideration if you're going to choose a leader. God looked beyond that and said, I found somebody. You need to pay attention to this story this morning because here's the thing. God, the same God that allowed them to come out can be the same God. There's a failure among God people. And that failure is we fail to remember just how great he is. Preach, Daniel, I'm doing the best I can. That we have to remember that God is an awesome God. God is a powerful God. And, and we shouldn't give up even if we've experienced defeat after defeat. See, what was powerful as well is that your mind can tell you one thing, but your faith will tell you something different. Your mind may tell you that there is no hope, but your faith says that you're not in a hopeless situation. Your mind will tell you that, 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 that you ain't no good or you are any good, but your, but your faith said that I can come out of this because I'm more. Because of who's inside of me. Greater is he, preach Daniel, that is in me than he that is in the world. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. The year.